It's that time of year again when we all have to sit in synagogue and think about the fact that God is judging us. It's an acknowledgement that God cares what we think, God cares what we do, God cares how we behave. Well, great. I have made so many mistakes this year, and all I'm going to do in synagogue is think about all of those mistakes, the same mistakes that I've been making year after year. But here's how God judges us. When the chauffeur's being blown, whatever we feel in our heart, whatever thoughts we're thinking in our head about ourselves, about who we want to be, that's how God judges us. Well, how could that be? How could our entire year be based on how I was thinking and feeling in one little second? And besides, I don't know about you guys, but often when I'm hearing the chauffeur blown, I'm thinking about the shoes of the woman sitting next to me, if I've heated up the lunch yet, and when are we finally gonna get out of here? That's what I'm thinking. The sages tell us something unbelievable. What are we supposed to be thinking about when the chauffeur's being blown? We're supposed to pause, take a step back, and ask ourselves, who do I wanna be? Not what I wanna do when I grow up, not what I wanna serve for dinner that night, but who do I want to be? Who am I? What do I care about? What are my hopes? What are my dreams? What am I striving to accomplish? When I leave this world, how do I want to be remembered? How do I want my children to think of me? How do I want my community to think of me? How do I want my husband to think of me? How do I want God to think of me? And how do I want I to think of me? So how does this system work? I can do what I want all year long, make as many mistakes as I want, and then feel bad in one second, God will forgive me? The sages tell us something remarkable. The reason that God judges us in that one moment is because however we think we can be, that's how we can be. In the direction that a person wants to go, there that person will be led. God is saying, dream big. Believe in yourself. I believe in you. Believe that you can be that amazing best version of yourself that exists. Dare to dream. Dare to hope. And invest in your future. Keep working. Keep striving. And in that moment, God will say, that's who you want to be? I'm going to help you develop into the best you possible. This Rosh Hashanah, dare to dream. Dare to believe that you have tremendous, limitless potential waiting for you. And your job this year is to believe that that's who you can be. Shana Tovah.